it's Ricky from RT Videos, and today I'm going to be doing a special comparison review of the MTH Premier P42 and the MTH Rail King P42 to see which one is better and which one is best for you. I'm going to jump into the review of these locomotives. So the first thing that we notice when we put the two together is size. As you can see, the scale P42 is about two to three inches longer than the not scale P40, which I am borrowing from my train club until January. On the scale P42, we have a remote control protocoupler, we have a detachable snowplow, we have headlights, marker lights, we have interior cab figures and lights. We have all this detailed windshield wipers, mirrors, all this handrails, and all metal chassis, all this wonderful detail on the underside and on the side. We have an operating smoke unit and a fan. Coming to the back, we have another protocoupler. We have amazing detail, more interior lights, and more marker lights and other nice lighting features on the back. Now I'm going to show you the features that the not scale P40 offers also by MTH. Over here on the front we have a coupler. This is not a remote control coupler. This is just a regular coupler. We have a snow plow. However, it is not detachable. We have the lights here. The number board does not illuminate. The marker lights and the headlights are controlled by the light bulb inside of the locomotive. There is no interior cab light. Coming over to the middle, we have a the, uh, the decorative metal bell. We have good paint scheme and some detail on the undercarriage. We do not have an operating smoke unit on this locomotive. As you can see, it is just a piece of plastic. The fan is not existent. It is just the plastic that is there. Coming to the back, we have another coupler, but it's not remote control. We have some detail, and there are no lights on the back, but compared to the scale P42, we could see that there is much more detail on the scale P42 than the not scale P40. I'm going to show you what these two locomotives look like in action today. I'm pulling them with my train clubs set of four Superliner Amtrak coach cars that do come with this P40. This comes in a ready to run set which I'll be talking about later. These cars are very nice and they go very well with the scale P42 and I'm going to be running the P42 with these cars until January. So this locomotive is in conventional number 805. So I'm going to show you the bell, the horn, and some of the engine sounds. So you can see that the headlight is on, the cabin turn light, the rubber lights. Going to the back, we have nothing. The uh, superliners are illuminated. Let's see what this engine looks like in motion. Features in motion. I'm now going to show you guys what this locomotive looks like in motion. To see a full review on this locomotive, please look back in my channel for it.
So obviously we have the headlights, the marker lights on the number board, and the cab figures and lighted interior. We also have our smoke unit coming to the back. We have marker lights and directionally controlled backup lights. This is what the bell sounds like. This is the Can horn. Another count on that, please. Let's see what this locomotive looks like in motion. The million dollar question that you guys are all waiting for is which locomotive is better? The answer is neither. Both of these locomotives are amazing and what for what you want. If you are going for a full scale layout, then by no doubt you would choose the scale P42. It has amazing features that you would want in your scale layout. On the other hand, if you are looking for something to put under your Christmas tree or just something to run around for fun then this non-scale P40 would be a great option. MTH does make a non-scale P42 just like this one here with Protosound 3.0 but still it does not offer all of the features that the scale P42 has. I was considering getting the non-scale P42 but it did not have a smoke unit, the new one that they made, and I could not resist all the amazing features and the scale P42 is worth every penny. Again, if you're looking for something just to run around for fun or a good birthday present, then the non-scale P42 is the perfect gift. If you're looking for a scale high rail layout and something with a lot more detail, the scale P42 is definitely for you. If you guys have any questions about these locomotives, please feel free to comment in the bar below. Thank you so much for watching.